हेलो सार्थक इज टेलिंग दैट इट्स इज बफरिंग अ लॉट व्हाट इज दैट मीन इज बफरिंग अ लॉट सो इट इज इट्स अ कंप्लेंट हां माइक इज टू लॉ इज इट बेटर ओके गुड सो नाउ यू टेल मी समथिंग हेलो हाँ सो आई यू आर नॉट बीन एबल टू जॉइन हेलो still i think you better be here and see there are there are still thing background noise there is no background noise here at all huh? because of this one huh? Touching this one. Hello, Dickon. Okay, but how do the students join? Ah, uh -huh. so hmm, that is the only way for us. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see another name here, Surjit Kumar. So, is the background noise all right now? हेलो सुरजे हेलो सार्थ हाँ सो टेल मी समथिंग व्हाट वी शुड डू यू हैव अबाउट एन आवर टाइम ओके सो हाउ यू वांट हेलो इज वन मोर
to clear here is a question sathak asks which is a very generic question how to study math there is no definite answer or a recipe for everybody which will be applicable for everybody okay everybody has his own uh, way of studying and so on first of all one thing which is very specific about math is every time you cannot start with a with a scratch the entire thing is linear if you have not understood the first lecture you will probably have difficulty in second lecture third lecture and so on so if you don't you take a book if you haven't studied the first chapter properly you will definitely have problems in the second chapter so in this way mathematics is linear it is not like uh, for example tulsi ramayan wherein you can open up any page and start reading and uh, enjoy the poetry all that you need is basically okay who is rama and who is sita perhaps that's all so that is not the case with uh, mathematics so is that difference makes sense to you or you, you you already knew tell me so i have told you something okay does it make any difference now or you you knew already and you are expecting some other answer tell me quite often the proofs are slightly secondary in the learning process in in the present setup of this exam oriented learning you will have to buy art everything whereas for understanding purpose okay the proofs are secondary i don't say they are completely useless quite often uh when you have you have presented a proof the arguments there are more useful than the statement of the theorem or lemma or proposition whatever they are proving okay in such cases for example in my lectures i point out this point this one namely pay attention to the proof here because proof educates you more okay it is in the background like your mother but without that the entire edifice collapses without the mother at home doing all the dirty work you know the entire household collapses it is like that so but for example suppose you are uh, stating theorem y and then you are using only the statements of theorem 2 and theorem 4 so that much you should remember right so memory is also should play like that okay now sujit kumar says that i should give practical applications of topology okay <laughs> first of all this course is not meant for that so you will have to excuse me if i don't give you any practical uh, application first of all i am not an industrialist i am not going to give you that one very clearly secondly without knowing what topology is you are asking how to uh, uh, you give me the application of uh, industry i am sure that you don't know your industry either so first of all know something and then only ask whether it is useful or not if you have come here thinking that you are suppose you are doing a, you are building up a, uh, your industry say car industry or something and topology will be useful perhaps you are in the wrong place nevertheless just i have taken this one i will give you that you know topology Uh, first of all 
the, the points of topology that you are going to develop is first of all like uh, you know uh, a person uh, suppose a cricketer is there what does he do every day morning before going to the cricket field he will have to do a lot number of uh, exercises you know or even yoga and so on so it is muscle building so here is a brain muscle building of course so it prepares you it prepares you for this kind of mathematics for any other kind of mathematics that is the important application of topology itself okay for example in car industry you may want to do all this call, what is called as uh, the you know uh, approximations how to make a you know nice shape of the car not the not the engine you know the shape of the car so that kind of things are uh, in topology is used in that kind of thing okay so I, beyond that you, you, i cannot tell you anything right so you have to know many you know applications of any kind of thing first of all needs the knowledge of the tool right so in any case suji's question and sarthas questions are quite you know different part apart i think i have answered if if you are not yet satisfied you should participate okay i i don't want to go on lecturing like this okay now sahil sharma has brought up a very technical thing which is which is answerable okay very uh, pertinent question sahil what is the meaning of condensation point have we introduced this terminology in this course there is no answer i will tell you we have not uh, introduced such a notation such a notion at all but the second one accumulation point we have introduced accumulation point another name is limit point another terminology which is different from accumulation point is the closure point these are the things which you have introduced do you want me to explain that again if so please tell me Meanwhile, Subhajit Pera says, "Tell me about PDF notes. Have you first of all received the PDF notes? The PDF notes are, you know, condensed uh, things of from the from the lecture notes, like uh, like uh, the slides, so that it is it is in some sense easier to browse through PDF notes without." Uh, interruption of somebody else's voice and so on you are free to uh, uh, read that one so this is like a ready made uh, thing you don't usually you write down your notes in a regular class right so that part you don't have to do sahil so sharma says no sir what is no condensation point is not introduced okay so if you have some some definition something you can tell me that otherwise you can leave it and if, if you want to know what is the difference between the accumulation point and uh, a closure point then i will tell you please sahil sharma if you are studying some other book read that book properly condensation point is not a term in this course and i don't want to bring it that and confuse the others also
the order topology makes sense only when you have a totally ordered set if you are a singleton automatically is totally ordered what are the intervals there what are the intervals there in a singleton set there is only one order x is less than x x is less than or equal to x so you have a closed interval okay you have an open interval which is empty okay first of all you have to start with a totally ordered set and then the ordered topology makes sense all that you have to do is okay all intervals okay you have to take open rays are also intervals right open rays are also intervals in fact if you have difficulty in uh, defining an interval like that you need two points a and b such that then you take all x such that a less than x less than b then an open ray is the union of all such intervals wherein the points are taken only from one side so union of intervals is the topology there you see the intervals form a base so open rays will be also open in the topology you can't leave the open rays open rays will be unions of open intervals after all what is ac what is ac Axiom of choice. 
axiom of choice. It is not uh, uh, short formula to AC. In, if you say AC, nobody will have to understand axiom of choice. Anyway, so now I understand. Axiom of choice we is built in almost almost all part of you know modern points of topology. Okay. However, great people, you know, great topologists like Brouwer, in his later life, you no, know, he he did a lot of uh, topology along with the axiom of choice, but later on. He wanted to do without axiom of choice. Okay, there is a another school of thought, right, wherein everything is done constructibility to constructibility only. But however, it has not come to the main stream of mathematics at all. People are there, you know, doing something very mini school of people, but a lot of things are done there, okay? Many things will have become extremely difficult. Certain, certain things can be done, all right? The theory will become quite different also, but many, many useful things of present day mathematics will not be achieved by without exhaustion. Okay, that is the final uh, conclusion, I would say. But it is possible. It is not easy at all. Okay, many, many things can be done. There is nothing, then I will say just draw it or So are you all through with your questions? If you want more of this kind of uh, 
इंटरेक्टिव सेशन मे बी नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शुड फर्स्ट ऑफ जॉटेड डाउन योर क्वेश्चन इन ए नोट बुक सो दैट फटाफट यू कैन रिमेंबर वॉट यू वॉन्टेड टू आस्क the this sarthak vijay as whether it can be done over zoom this feedback should be given you know to directly to nptel they ask you to give you such feedbacks okay your comments it should be there see i am not a technical person to answer such questions about buffering about uh, you know all such things you should report and you should ask such questions in the feedback all right so that they can improve all these things technical part i am here to answer the academic part the topological part the course part you have to use that next time you should understand suppose you don't understand difference between accumulation point and a closure point please explain that one sir that should be the question to me okay you should understand that one and when you are studying certain questions occur to you you dot down okay i will ask this question next time so that is the way you should keep things ready right so that you can one after another you can ask those questions in the in this uh, interactive session so that is the way to take advantage of this interactive sessions moreover in the feedback you should also tell that we want it or we don't want it the nptel setup allows three of such interactive sessions out of 12 weeks time in the entire course however i am ready to give you more of them and request them to arrange for more such interactive sessions provided you desire you means what a number of you okay so today for example there are not even dozen people who are attending this course right so nptel will look at that and say decide so not many people are asking so let us not have so if you come more people come and more pressure you put then only we can have more of such sessions you understand that so here is a uh, analysis question by grisham can you explain how sin and cos functions are uniformly continuous very easy dear first of all sin and cos functions are periodic functions okay if you take the entire uh, r to study the function on the entire of the real line you have to study it only in an interval of length you know slightly bigger than 0 to 2 pi of length 2 pi 0 to 2 pi okay if you study it slightly open let us take open interval then the study will be complete because the function is behaving exactly same way when you add 2 pi 4 pi 3 pi to the to the parameter right therefore if you restrict the the entire function can be restricted to a closed interval on a closed interval any continuous function is uniformly continuous okay therefore sin and cos functions are uniformly continuous
ग्रीष्म Do you understand why sine and cos functions are uniformly continuous now? so i i tell you once again you know use the feedback form and in that you mention whether you want more live sessions or not okay very clearly otherwise we will not have many more live sessions at all and when you are on live sessions you should ask questions you should participate that is the meaning of live session otherwise you have your uh, videos wherein i have meticulously lectured there i don't have i cannot ask questions and so on to you and neither i can hear you so that you can use that's all what is the point of coming here this one hour you can study those things again that's all so we will not have my interactive sessions at all unless there is a pressure from you there is a you know demand not just by one or two persons many people should do that surekha ji so you have Uh, for chord metric, I will. That is too much technical. 
may need a blackboard. First, I will answer Sureka ji's question. <laughs> okay. Sureka ji, this is purely aspect of how you much set theory you understand. Okay. This is not part and parcel of topology. That is the main reason why we have made four axioms in the definition of topology. Namely, empty set and the entire set is also there, it is part of the definition. Precisely because you may have difficulty in uh, understanding that the empty intersection is the whole space and empty union is the empty set. Let me just tell you this much. Empty intersection means what? What is the intersection? Intersection of a family of uh, sets means what? It's a common point which is there in all of them. Right? It is there in all of the members of the family. Right? Now you take a point of the space X. Okay? It is there in all the family, all the members. What are the members? There are no members. Therefore, the statement it is satisfied vacuously. Take any point X, inside X. It is there in all the members of this family. Can you contradict this statement? To contradict this statement, you will have to produce a member which does not contain the point X. That means you have to produce first of all a member. There are no members. Therefore, everybody is satisfied. Therefore, the condition is satisfied. Therefore, when you take intersection or a empty family, it is the entire set X. The same thing happens when you take union or an empty family, it is empty set. What is the union? It, so it is not there in any member. So X is not there. So no point is there. That means the set is empty. Okay. So that is how those two are redundant. Once you put AU and FI, those two will follow. But why bother if you have difficulty? We want to get start off with the points of topology. You don't want to get stuck up. That is why, you know, the friendly uh, teacher and a friendly book will include those two things. That's all. Okay. Now. Proof of triangle inequality of core matrix is purely technical. I think uh, I have given enough hints in the in the notes. After that, it is a matter of you know working out, working out that one. There are other geometric ways of seeing that. That you will see in the second part of this course just as a corollary of some other thing that we are going to do. The second part of the course is not just to show that uh, chord metric satisfy triangle inequality. That will also come. So I don't want to take up that one in the sense that I will need a blackboard and uh, thing. Even if it's a Zoom meeting, I will not be able to do that. Okay. Whereas I have done enough hints and so on in the, in the slides. Alright, if you still want to do the A's, the TAs are there. Put this question in your, uh, you know, in the forum, discussion forum. So then they will write it down. Here I am not writing, I am only speaking. Alright, alright Bhishma?
Okay, so I think we will close the session now because you people are not coming up with any more questions. So there is one more question, Sartar. In the assignment, there is a question, if a norm can always be extended from a subspace to the whole vector space. Can you give a hint? I have no clue about this. In assignment 1. So you have to know a little bit about vector spaces as such. Okay. A norm given on a subspace, you can extend it, means what? Any vector space, you know, can be written as direct sum of a subspace and a complementary space. Okay, the complementary space is not unique anyway. There are many. You can write it as a direct sum. Then there are many ways of putting the putting another norm independently on the complement. So that could be a good hint, no? After that, you work out. We will be closing the session soon. If you don't have any questions, 